Hey, it's Ron Way with Reno's Rock Station, Rock 104.5. We're here at, what do you call your studio, Javi, the boss? Uh, just the cave. The, the cave. The the usually, it's, cave. usually it's full of cigar <laughs> smoke and liquor, all the liquors back there. Anyway, I'm Love here with uh, New Medicine, a band that uh, I have to say been a very big fan of. It was, and you could thank the Hailstorm people. Exactly. Because Lizzie and the boys came through, and uh, we were we were talking about the tour, and they said, oh, well, what band out there is really knocking your socks off right now? And they said, the first band on tonight, New Medicine. So I immediately Sweet. went and grabbed cool. the CD, and uh, I tell you, I think it was one of the best rock CDs. Was it out last year or a year and a half ago? Uh, about a year and a half now. Okay. So, yep. I, half the, half the disc could be then, on yeah. the radio. I mean, yep. I think it's a, you know, who writes, do you write the songs? Yeah, Jake? yeah, yep. Okay. Um, I usually write them and then we all kind of come in and everybody throws their two cents on and we, uh, that's what kind of makes it. You know, and I'm not and... saying this to stroke because I'm, I'm Mr. Negative on a lot of stuff and <laughs> I think it's amazing. The songwriting is absolutely fantastic and it was a breath of fresh air, I think, for uh, music in general. I know you signed a new management deal. We're going to be hearing a lot more about you. Uh, I read a little bit that you guys were uh, school buds. You want to elaborate on how the band actually became New Medicine? Yeah, we um, we all played in, in previous bands, uh, but Jake and Dan and I all went to middle school and high school together. Wow. We knew yeah. Ryan through, um, you know, just through the music scene in Minneapolis where we all grew up. And... Uh, Bands were kind of breaking up. It was in that transformation period, and we just what every six months, like every yeah, other exactly. band, <laughs> exactly. And we all had different bands. It was in the stuff. transition period, and we're all like, "Hey, we've always wanted to get together and play music together." So we got in the room, just kind of started jamming, and it was one of those uh, kind of chemistry moments where it was something we had all been waiting to have to find the lineup that was it for all of us. I think, yeah, you know? and we've uh, all been in other bands. Of chemistry. I mean, you yeah. can have the players. I, I, you know, I always thought you don't always have to have the best players. It's it's the chemistry. Right. It's what's it's all the ingredients that goes in the bowl and as long as that final product is what sounds the best uh, you know some of my favorite players aren't the right. best players it's right. what they do within the band that right. makes them you know right totally no. I agree 100% yeah, yeah. absolutely I agree too that's how I got into bands oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just get along with everybody that's oh, it. nice I read an interview I don't. I think it was like a year old and I can't remember Jake you were commenting on somebody in the band was like you said I thought he was the best player in our town and, oh I thought Ryan we all right, that's Ryan what was. it was that's we what it was. Ha, we ha, I, I was like like writing some of the songs for this and I was doing a demo for one of the songs and I was like asked our producer like baby's gone baby's gone and I was like I needed the best drummer like ever and it's like Ryan we gotta hire Ryan so we nice. I hired Ryan to play on the, the demo of it and then he was like I like this stuff and I was like hmm so then we can you know put the band together we were like we just I picked Brady our favorite bass player and me and Dan had known each other in high school and played in the band together and so we just all kind of came together and it so it all works. works. So yeah. you know, it wasn't like the hired gun band. No, it's okay. cool because we all know each other, and he, you know, he was in our producer's band from Minneapolis. So it was like, it's just all yep. easy. And Minneapolis is kind of like that. It's got one of those sort of um, uh, really great community sort of music scenes. So yeah, everybody every, kind of knows everybody, everybody knows each other. And it's yeah, like, and the streets aren't rough there, so it's not like <laughs> yeah, exactly, you, it's exactly. not like you were slugging it out in the music <laughs> business. Yeah, You're yeah, like, yeah, well, exactly. hey, we got a nice club. It's yeah. a beautiful city. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, so a couple tours coming up with the band. Um, of course, you're playing uh, with uh, the Avalanche Tour, Shine Down, and of course, Adelita's Way. Yeah, yep. sold out show here in Reno. What's coming up this summer for New Medicine? Um, well, immediately after the Avalanche Tour, we're going to be going out uh, with Chevelle uh, for about a month and a half, and we're going to be doing hitting all the festival circuits. I know, you know, nice. um, Rock on the Range and uh, Rock, Rock Fest. Fest are you there again this year? Yeah. yeah. There are and so many great bands. You know who I want to meet this year? Pepper from Down. Pepper, I'm a oh, yeah, COC dude. fan. For sure. I knew the old guys, for sure. and I never met Pepper. So right. I'm, like, I'm like, there's always one guy that I go, I just want to meet and say hi to. When we're actually playing when, uh, Rock on the Range with Incubus, we've never played with them, and I'm a big fan of Incubus. Nice. So that's going to be fun. And I'm really excited playing. to see uh, you know all the bands that we've met along the way. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see Hailstorm. Yeah, we're again. excited to see yeah. those yeah. guys oh, yeah. again, because you know we tour with them for uh, almost six months straight. Yeah. And Great then, people. One of the then, nicest bands I've ever oh, met yeah. in my life. Totally. And then they went on uh, to go re do record their new record, and then so we haven't seen them in a while, and now it's going to be cool to see them this summer on the They also told us, I remember way back when we first met them, they said, if you ever get an opportunity to tour with Shine Down, one of the nicest bands that you'll yeah. be out. And last night, yeah, one Southern of the Hospitality Florida boys yeah. saw yeah. them coming so, up when they were. Yeah, yeah Brent the last trenches. night came into our dressing room and was just the coolest guy ever, and nice. was like, I'm a huge fan, and thank you guys for being on this tour. And it was like, we've toured with some really big bands, and and uh, and no one's ever done that. Nice, you know what I mean? Like that's he's the only one that's ever came to our dressing room and just 
sought us out and said thank you for being here I appreciate it and I'm a fan man that's that fantastic cool. I, yeah. we, we run across both those bands over the years yeah. you're on a great tour right now right. so quickly because we want to get to the music uh, you got a new video coming out yeah for Racing to the Bottom nice great song that. yeah thank you um, it's going to be a, it's kind of a ridiculous video but I think it's going to be very entertaining we like so. ridiculous we that's what we like too. too serious everybody's too serious right come exactly. on exactly we had such a fun time shooting it we did it everybody that sees it yeah. everybody that sees it like everybody from our label just like he's almost like just like the biggest smiles on their face like oh yeah. my god I love the video just like yeah. so we can't wait it was a little uh it was a little too X-rated at first, so we, the legal department was having some problems. With it, but uh, <laughs> we sorted through uh, that, so you know yeah. they, they don't want to have any fun. But we we're uh, we're pushing it, so nice. we like to push the boundaries a little bit. All right, well, I definitely want to hear some music. Uh, again, being a big fan of the disc, uh, one song in particular. I know there's a little story behind it that you always tend to mention when you play it live. I've never heard it acoustic, but my request, the first one I want to hear out of the gate. We talked about this, you know, earlier. Uh, Little sister. Quick rundown, and let's play the song. Cool, yeah. Um, I wrote this song a couple of years ago, um, obviously, and uh, yeah, it's just about my. I wrote it about my sister because she would have been 18 a couple of years ago, and I was just, for some reason, I was sat down to the guitar one night, and it was the first thing that came out of my mo- my mouth. I wasn't even trying to write a song about it, but it just came out, and then just wrote it right there. And uh, it's just about you know losing my sister and what she would have been like today. Um, if she was here, she would have been 18, and how would she have oh. influenced my life? And I think a lot of people can relate to that. Not only is it your sister, or your brother, or your I lost friend. my brother 16 years ago, a week ago. Yeah. And, and, and I know we're kind of short on time. A real quick story. I was looking through some CDs, and it was the day he died, and I was pulling out a box. A picture came shooting out of the box on the floor, looked at it. Picture of my brother when we were kids. Yeah, it's wow. talk about wow. freaky, man. Yeah, totally. It still is making my <laughs> yeah. hair stand up. So. Totally, and so it, it, so it's we can identify. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally, saying. totally. So it's just for anybody that's. Lost.